Bruce Stevenson, and uh, I have autism. I'm very proud to have autism. And these are some of my paintings, and this is my monkey. And he's been around the world with me. He's just the most supportive monkey ever. This is my igloo, which I'm knitting at the moment, which all my excess energy is going to. And I'm just knitting a really long piece and then sewing it like that around a rope light like this and then in a coil and that's gonna be a big space so that you can go in it and be calm um, so glad that my excess energy can be used for something good this is my hat collection because I love hats so about myself I have a lot of activities I like to do such as taekwondo painting sewing dressing up in costumes, watching movies from the 20s to the 60s repetitively, and acting. A lot of these activities are becoming part of my career. I'm building for myself with the support of my parents and friends, and particularly my dad. I just recently started a band called Ice Cream in a Mug, which is a 30s cover band about being happy in life. Sometimes, when I get up in the morning, I'm highly sensitive, particularly hearing, smell, and even touch. I'm super grateful that I have three amazing housemates, one of them who is my boyfriend and is a very good interpreter. The biggest frustration is having trouble processing information or trying to communicate in a neurotypical way Having friends and getting along with people has always been on the top of my priority list. I've been lucky to have parents who let me make my own mistakes and therefore let me interact with a wide variety of people and experiences and just been there as a safety net. Because of all these mistakes I've made, I've been able to work out who my true friends are. Now I even have friends who not only accept me, but embrace me for who I am, which gives me a lot of confidence and helps me reach my creative potential. I wish people knew that stimming isn't something to be afraid of. It's just like body language or emotions on the outside. I feel a lot of my basic emotions at a much heightened level, excess happiness, anger and anxiety. It makes me feel like my body is feeling all the physical symptoms and is too small for so much energy. Stimming or doing something physical helps me get the excess energy out. Sometimes hugging a friend if they're okay with me, putting the energy into them with a really tight squeeze. Uh, sometimes I feel guilty about stimming because I've been told that it's not acceptable behavior. One of the things I love about, about autism is it means I'm very good at getting tunnel vision. So that I like to collect skills and get really focused on the very small details of techniques. Expressing myself through color means I don't have to express myself through words all the time. My art practice has evolved into a platform for me to ask questions, express emotions, test social boundaries, and embrace life. <laughs> this one is called Byproduct, and it started as a necessity to find a socially acceptable way to stim in public. Uh, another artwork I have, I put paint on my feet and, and I axe kick the wall. Uh, it's called Expend and it's an artwork that expresses extreme signs of anger and frustration in a very repetitive and, and practiced format which helps express a lot of excess energy and helps me prevent anxiety attacks later in the week. What can other people do to support autism? I believe help people not just with autism but people in general find safe outlets for excess emotions and explain what they are, like anger, what's actually happening to their bodies when they're angry. Uh, thanks for watching my film and I hope you enjoy the others. See you later.